So here I have that's where from where you can grab all these uh, cars uh, from Sketchfab. Here you can see the creator. You can just download 3D model this one and this one as well. I'm just gonna grab all of them and drag and drop. And I'm gonna show you how you can create a dynamic carousel um, morph effect in in um in powerpoint all right now let's actually increase the resolution for all these images for all these 3d effects now you can also go here and here you can also click on 3d models and import or insert your 3D models from here, or you can also drag and drop uh, like I did. So first, this is the base uh, slide. We're gonna have the car from the front, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna position the cars really nice and easy like this select the background and for this background what can i do well i can actually add some shapes in fact so i'm gonna go here to shapes grab this shape drag this shape here which is kind of like the the background and then Control shift and square square space or you can click on send back here in the shape format and now we're gonna grab the actually the other one I'm gonna create here a copy and then I'm gonna add this here you can create the copy with control D and now I'm gonna add this behind and to make this look like is more of like in behind we can actually add a gradient and I'm gonna delete this one here we don't need this one but we actually need to add this from behind and in about uh, 80 degrees but we can turn this on the other side. Actually, let's uh, remove gradient from there. Now we can also remove the background there. all right and now this is the base one okay and what we have to do now is to duplicate this slide control plus uh, D and now for this ones we're gonna actually change the position so we're gonna have this car move here and the other one move here and of course also change a little bit the resolution and those ones uh, as well change the resolution so also it was in this direction and now we're gonna move towards this side and this one on the other side like this and this one was there and now let's actually move this one here and the other car here now we're gonna press ctrl D here and we're gonna have this car 
actually this one here, this one here, and this one here, but just increase the scale, move it on the other side, resize it, change its size, like this. And now we can uh, now we can select both and go to transitions and select morph. Now let's see what we created. We also can here here we can see the effect or we can also click here which will open now this presentation. This is what we have. Now I know that's very, very simple, but I still think it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's a lot, it could be way bad, much better, but I maybe you learn something. If you're a complete beginner, I think that's a great um, lesson. And of course, now you can also change the background or the way the cars uh, appear. You can add uh, other effects. Uh, another thing that you can do is to actually pop the car from this part and move back here. So this car is has uh, it's from the front. You can also click on the 3D model from here, change the perspective. And now I'm just gonna select the other this car again, but move it from this side. Now we can see this car is from this side. So actually, let's move it from um, this side but with this perspective and the other one move here okay and now we have Let's actually see from here. So now we have this kind of effect. All right. That looks pretty nice. 